I'm Sydney Radka and welcome to another edition of FLX Weekly here at FingerLakes1.com. It is October 12th, 2022 and we are live inside the FingerLakes1.com studio where I'm joined by Jim Senecrofi and Felicia Dombrowski, of course, and our special guest today from the auto wash in Canadagua. We have Lindsay Hudson, who's the marketing and communications director and owner, Bobby Marchanese. And we have a fun show in store. Um, and I just can't wait to jump into it. But first, our show is brought to you by Cafe 19. Of course, if you head to their Facebook, you can check out their weekly lunch specials that you will never be disappointed with. Today's special is an egg salad gone wild. Ooh. <laughs> Classic egg salad tossed with a roasted garlic mayo, caramelized onions, and chopped bacon on a toasted croissant with greens and tomatoes. Dang. That's served with a side of chips as well. That sounds delicious. But and a heads up. Yes. Cafe 19 is a place for your pies for Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. You might want to yes. just a little Ugh. early for it. But. I don't want to think about Thanksgiving already, but I, know, I we're do. not even to Halloween yet. Yeah. yeah. We got a slow roll. We okay. are in Halloween in our studio today, <laughs> if you didn't notice. Um, Lindsay and Bobby, welcome officially to the nice. show. Nice. I'm well, sure you. you already got out of your costumes. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was too scary for, <laughs> for the set. But we're so happy to have you guys we're here. We're very happy to be here. We brought you on because you have a unique thing going on soon towards the end of October, and I kind of want you guys to just uh, tell us how this got started. It is a haunted car wash, it is. correct? So, I mean, I don't know. Have you ever heard of a haunted car wash? I have not. And the first question we had when we were all talking about it today was, are you getting your car washed? Yes, you are. Yep, um, you are. So that is part of the package. Awesome. Um, so this started, honestly, it started in 2020. So t this year will be our third year doing it. Okay. It started in 2020, honestly, from COVID restrictions. So mm -hmm. the restrictions were so strict. A lot of the fun activities were disappearing. Right. Yeah. And we kind of thought with the car wash, I mean, you're in your car, you're with your family, with your loved ones, mm -hmm. you feel safe, you feel comfortable. So... We kind of just pushed the idea, a lot of us um, on site, and Bobby loved it, and then we kind of just went from there. Have you ever heard of anything like this before you guys did it? Um, I mean, we've heard of it, but never experienced it, no. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. Other people in our company have like mentioned the idea, but you know, it sounded like a lot of work or whatever, and then she really pushed me to it. <laughs> it's so like, it's a haunted car wash. Okay, so um, you show up, and you pay ten dollars, correct? Yeah. Ten dollars to get your car washed. And once you get to the car wash, I know we saw pictures of like clowns that were sitting there. And how? Like, take us through what to the expect. experience. Yeah. What would? What? Yeah. And first, I'll add too. It doesn't matter how many people are in the car. Oh, okay. Uh, we've actually had customers that rent vans. <laughs> and oh yeah. We have a dozen kids in the back, and you know everyone's listening to music, eating candy, and mm -hmm. it's this whole like fun experience. Right, yeah. yeah. So what do they do once they get there? So obviously you're like, all right, I'm pulling up to the car wash, and I'm going to go get my car wash, but what makes it that much different when they're going through it? Well, I would say one of the main things, even before you get on site and pull into the car wash, I mean, the experience and the entertainment starts well before. Oh, okay. So we have a ton of staff, um, amazing employees that go above and beyond to make their own costumes, and of course we, we buy and put some stuff together, but the scaring happens while you're waiting. Oh, So while okay. you're waiting in line, um, and then it, it's probably roughly a 45 minute wait. Okay. Give or take. Right, So yeah. the line is pretty long. It goes by quickly though. So once you get on site, you pull, like you're starting to pull in. We have a bunch of different scenes set up. Mm -hmm. We try to make it a little bit different every year. So again, this is our third year, so we've added some new things. I don't want to Look. say too much about it. Yeah. No. Um, but yeah, some new things. And um, it's not your typical way through the car wash. So we try to go a little bit of a zigzag mm -hmm. through different yeah. things. Interesting. And then, but then in the end, you're going through the automated car wash? Yes, you are. And there's a little bit of the experience in the car wash, too, but I would say 90% of the experience is actually before, before. going yeah. Okay, the car wash. that makes so much yeah, more sense yes. because we were laughing, I was laughing about it because I was like, all right. Once you get in the car wash, yeah. the people that are scaring, are they just getting like, like blasted? Soggy. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you can't get your car wash because if they're in there, they're gonna get soaking wet. Oh, so that well, makes a lot more sense and it's before you go into the car yeah, wash. it's before, it's during. Yeah, it's that's all awesome. Of the all of the So above. yes, the people it. in the tunnel, um, there may or may not be some. Ooh. 
and right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're leaving us with a little suspense. <laughs> I love it. And where are you guys located? I know you have uh, multiple locations. So where is this actual haunted car wash happening? Yeah, we do have six locations, but the the actual event is happening in Canadagua at Route 332. And you have two locations in Canadagua, so people need to pay Correct. attention. They're going to Route 332 location. Yep, do not go to the County Road 10 location. And you have multiple locations in the area, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah where, can you name them all off? Sure, we have one in Auburn, okay. uh, one in Geneva, two in Canadagua, one in Farmington, and one in Batavia. Awesome. Did you grow up and think that you wanted to own a bunch of car washes? <laughs> It was a family business. Oh, okay. Uh, so I, I grew so up he's in like, the yes. business. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, and that's then, Are you affiliated with like a national chain? Uh, these are all just your branded? No, nope, this is just all our branded. My that's dad awesome. started it in 1981, hmm. around a little over 40 years And they years had to be now. one of like the first ones around in 81? Or what, yeah, what did it then, look like in 81? Yeah, there wasn't much of a landscape for car washes yeah. in 1981. But cool. was it still you drive through at that point? Or was that more like you show up and people actually wash your car? Yeah, the very first version in 81 was like a rollover unit. So you'd actually pull in to a bay, right. put the car in park, and my dad would be in there, you know, maneuvering the machines to bring the wheel down over your car. Yeah, no Aww. kidding. Huh. I love, you see the evolution of that, I'm sure, because I've seen pictures, it looks like, I. why do I think car washes are so awesome? I don't know, but like, it looks like a nice fancy car wash. Well, it's fun wash. for like, uh, <laughs> especially young kids, we're like, we're gonna go through the car wash, yeah. they get excited. Some, um, some. <laughs> yeah, some, some yeah. get scared, right? Some of them are going to yeah. go Every, through the haunted thing, and then when they go through the car wash, they're going to be more, more scared, scared going through right? the <laughs> <laughs> If there's anything like my three-year-old daughter who went through the haunted car wash mm -hmm. last year, Every time I go to a car wash, you know, are the guys there? Are the oh, guys there? Yeah. She thinks it's gonna every car wash is gonna be haunted. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's just a different experience. I like that you don't see it definitely yeah. around here. Um, do people have to purchase tickets in advance, or do you, can they get the ticket or pay when they get there? Yeah, all tickets are on site. Oh, okay. So it's ten dollars again per vehicle. And cash preferred, but credit is accepted, and right. they're just right there. Do you ever everybody show up just thinking they're going to go to get their car washed like normal, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, <laughs> you know? The year one we did, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, again, it's the third year, and now we we close a little bit early to set up. So the thing with the car wash, um, like other haunted experiences, they get weeks to set up yeah. and oh, keep yeah. it up. So ours is done. I mean, we have a lot of prepping and planning, but it's set up on Friday and it's taken down on Sunday. So you're deploying oh, it yeah. like yes. as fast as you can. Yes, yep. Yeah. So again, lots of planning. Everyone has different roles and tasks to yeah. kind of put this all together. What are the dates um, that this is going on? Yeah, October 21st and October 22nd. So it's Friday, Saturday. Two days only, two days and only. the time? 7 to 10 p.m. Okay, so that's like fun too. You're like, yeah. all right. And really, if you think about it, if you're walking through a haunted house, you're waiting in that line for hours. Yeah, so, outside. yeah, so yeah. <laughs> you, now you get to be in your car yeah. and you set about a 45 minute wait, which is pretty normal, I yeah. would think, for an experience mm -hmm. like that. So that makes it. And then you're you done, know, your car is clean. Clean. Yeah, right? You're, Let's say clean-ish because we are focused more on the experience. Right. Yeah, right. Of course. So if yeah. you want to have the full car wash experience, just come back on Sunday or Monday. Yeah, I mean Monday. Yep. Yeah, come back and get the full car wash experience. But that is really cool. I think that's awesome. Well, how about a fun night? Um, go to dinner in Canadagua. Yeah. A lot of great places. Yeah. And then after dinner, um, you know, eight and depending on what time you eat, head to the Corona car wash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seems like a fun night in it Canadagua. Does. And you have more information on your socials, right? Yeah, both social media, Facebook, Instagram, the website has a link right to it. Yep, autowashcarwash.com <laughs> slash haunted car wash. Mm -hmm. So you'll have like a map because that is a big thing, the traffic flow. So the traffic yeah. is going to, to enter the car wash, it's going to be coming from Main Street. So getting in that far mm -hmm. right lane and then North Road onto County Road. Right. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure people like I would think um, the town of Canada would really hope that <laughs> we're yes, not blocking so all the traffic. 100%. I mean, all the companies around us will have the Ontario Sheriffs. They help us. And then a ton of the companies around us are a huge help. So. Yeah, next door we have Hep Sales, Canadago Motors, Heritage Motors, and Eric's office. Mm -hmm. okay. And 
you know, they help whether it's with parking or turning off their parking lot lights. Yeah. Oh, um, right. Yeah. Oh, that's to block cool. The yeah. Of their business. Oh, yeah, that's they, nice. They do a lot for us. So. so you've had help then from all your neighbors too, yeah. which Absolutely. always makes yep. it better. That's yep. awesome. Do you guys, besides the haunted car wash, what are your best features of the car wash? Do you have like the memberships? Do you have everything yes, for those? Those are. Do you have? Oh, a car I, wash? yeah, I'm a member. I was gonna say, do you yeah. guys have car wash memberships? Absolutely. That's always good. once a day. You can go once a day. Basically. What are you? What oh, do you guys you have? Go. We're completely unlimited. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. multiple times a day. Yeah. Wow. Do you have? Do you have people like regulars that you yes. know now? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every on location. the way to work, on the way back from work. Yeah. See, yeah, that I don't know if I'm that crazy. Well, some people are trying <laughs> to get the most value they can. Yeah, it's all yeah. about the value. Yeah, percent Right. So, For the um, car but wash. I got tons of like car wash questions. So like <laughs> everything from like your water bill to like uh, you know the maintenance of it all and um, and and also I always wondered so. You go to the car, car wash and you, at your car wash, you have a couple car washes. You have a couple people kind of prep before you go through. Yep, so the first stop is the pay station. Mm -hmm. So if you have the monthly wash plan, it'll scan your license plate or your RFID sticker. Oh, cool. And then you pull into the car wash and we have usually two to three people that pre-wash the vehicle. You guys yeah. really make and me then want them a car wash. They send you through. <laughs> yes, too. Um, yeah, so I, again, you, the, Water bill must be pretty high for the car. That must be a major expense. It's become one of the biggest. Yeah. Um, oh, I can imagine. And I'm getting off track. <laughs> I love car washes, and I've always wondered about this stuff. Yeah, so, that's okay. um, what, how come the decision to put the people in front instead of at the end to dry it? You know what I mean? Like, whoa. and why does it need to be prepped before you go in? Is it just to keep like the general, the automated part of the car wash cleaner? Yeah, so most car washes have a similar equipment set up, um, right. and there's limitations to that equipment. So like the wheel wells, for example, mm -hmm. you know, if you have a bunch of mud in your wheel wells, it's, it's very difficult for the equipment to spray that out as the car is traveling down the conveyor. Gotcha. So that's where somebody up front that can really target that area. Yeah. Uh, bugs. I was going to say oh. bugs is the first thing that I... Yeah. Isn't it yeah. funny that that's what we got into in this like conversation? Because right. you really think about like the back end of operations that you never would think about on well, a daily basis. Car washes basis. are like become a major business, you know, a part yeah, of yeah. a lot of people's lives now, um, where they regularly will go, yeah. um, which just wasn't the case maybe 20 years ago. So your yeah. father was a pioneer, yeah. essentially. Yeah, um, I paved the way for you to be a car wash owner of multiple businesses. How, you watch Breaking locations. Bad? You know, I, I haven't, but I think everyone that knows me has asked me that question. Yes. Really? That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Why do they own the phone? Well, they, they, they run their it's operation. It's a front for laundering money, oh. so I don't know what he's got going on on the side, but I, I it seems to work well for... Uh, I think that they have a very reputable business that's been around for a while, yep. and now you're able to incorporate more fun things like this. And I see you brought like little goodie bags. Is that stuff that yes. uh, you guys hand out at yes. at the event so too? Both days, um, we'll have candy bags just like this for all of the kids. So cute. Um, and we also this year will be a little bit new, but we have apple cider that's going to oh. be free. So this is all free, like candy bags yeah. and the apple cider um, from Fowler Farms and um, some donuts this year. Love it. Nice. It is yeah. a whole, it really is a whole experience. Yeah. I feel like definitely take your kids. Maybe if you're trying to ease your kids into that Halloween stuff, you're like, <laughs> all right, you're safe in the car. I'm going to take you through this though. I feel like my mom would do that because. She always wanted to torture us with like scary movies and yes. things like that. So haunted walks might be a little too much. Start at yes. the haunted well, car wash. If your <laughs> doors are not locked, there's no guarantee. Oh, <laughs> or anything. I'll oh, just say that. Oh, I right? love that. Okay, that, so yeah. Do you have to ever go into like having people sign anything or anything? Like you know how they have waivers yeah. and like what could happen? We've been pretty casual about yeah. Yeah. Yes. everything. No, it's too point. intense, right? Yeah, no, it's not too yeah. intense. We have a like a group talk before <laughs> it starts each day to just kind of go over some of those things like mm -hmm. so our, our staff is really good about you know if there's little toddlers versus yeah, yes. teenagers versus <laughs> adults kind of how to approach that what about pets they would bring their pets yeah they're they yeah, dogs oh 100%. Geez. dogs do not like it i would no. not, no. not like it like <laughs> they're barking no. the whole time yeah. yes i would never bring my so. dog to Break out. Yeah, they do freak out, but we see them every year. <laughs> Interesting. So, did you ever think that you guys would do this more than um, COVID, or did oh you think goodness. it was going to be a one time thing? Well, you, I mean, you were pushing hard on the idea I in was. 2020. I and was. 
I'm grateful for that because it yeah. turned out to be a really good event. It was so fun. And yeah. I think course, until like yeah. that first night wrapped up, you know, we had no idea it was going to be such yeah. a hit. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, wow, yeah. this is cool. And to see everyone's reaction mm -hmm. coming through, like when you mm -hmm. scare them or just like the comments online afterwards. So positive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's great. That's it's really awesome. great. Yeah. Such a, it's yeah. also cool to um, put a face to the car wash is a locally owned and operated business as well, yes. um, which a lot of people probably might not think of it that way. Um, is the same way as like your downtown retailer, yeah. um, you know, mom and pop type of thing. But it's cool that it is locally owned and it's multi generational. Yeah. Um, but I had a question for you, Lindsay. Like, how did you become involved? Um, and what's your story? Where, where were you born? And how did you? Yeah, well, I'm I'm local. I'm from Bloomfield, and then Ooh. I actually just started with Auto Wash in 2020, the year that it started. So. I'm all about events. <laughs> I love all of that. So that's kind of why I think I pushed it so much. I'm like, we can do it. There's, you have so many employees. Like, we can pull this so off. Are you a big fan of Halloween in general, or do you just yes. love, thought this would be a great way to? No, I'm not actually a yeah. big fan of Halloween. <laughs> so, which is really funny. I just love events. I right. love yeah. people. I love the gathering. I just love how it brings people together. Of course. Um, so I think that's just kind of where I'm coming from. I have now had to really focus and do a lot of research on Halloween. So, I mean, it's fun. We, I have kids as well, and we go trick-or-treating, and we get into Halloween. Yeah. Um, what year did you graduate from Bloomfield? 2007. 2007, okay. Mm -hmm. So, have you guys thought about doing a Christmas car wash drive through <laughs> so, yet? Well, it's awesome that you asked that. So, um, we do have something. It's We do like a Santa um, letters and... Last year, it's at a different. It's at the other Canandaigua location, so the one on County Road 10. Mm -hmm. We have this ginormous mailbox that um, our service team made. That is incredible. It's huge, and um, we encourage kids to write to Santa mm -hmm. and the letters. We can just drop them off right in there. Right. And then one day, we don't have it planned right now, but we'll have Santa and some elves visit. Oh, we have like, uh, hot cocoa lights and candy on the lake canes. type of deal. You could do uh, light yeah. displays, uh, you know, at the towards the entrance. We're now having a marketing meeting. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so so awesome, really, yeah. it goes to show, though, like just because you have a business that people might think are the boring businesses, you can still mm -hmm. do so much fun. Things I never thought so that the car wash was a boring Jim business. Loves the car wash. Right. <laughs> it's awesome. I love car washes too, but you yeah. know, on the outside looking in, they might be like, "Oh, it's just a car wash." Like, yeah. well, who would think that they would have events? All and you guys are 100%. doing that, and I love it. Well, this um, girl that is in that came into the studio with us, so she be at the uh, event. Will. I'm not going to tell you where, but she will pop. She's pop creepy. Up, sure. yeah, she yeah, probably is. from the back mm -hmm. seat in your car. Can you Maybe. figure that out? That would be oh, way to... yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. So I do want to. Um, I want to just run down again when it is, what time it is, and how people can get more information. If you could give us that. Yeah. So. The Haunted Car Wash, it's on Friday, October 21st, and Saturday, October 22nd, 7 to 10 p.m. at the Canandaigua location on Route 332. Um, they can visit the website, so www.autowashcarwash.com. Um, to learn more, you can go to our Facebook page and our Instagram page at Auto Wash Car Wash. Beautiful. We'll have so stories and anywhere. posts. Yes. Auto Wash Car Wash. Auto you can wash find them. And it's $10, um, $10 to yes. have the experience, get the free site. That's a deal, especially mm -hmm. yeah. if you don't charge by person. Like, that's yeah. huge. $10. Yeah. Yeah. Ten, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Like I Bobby said, sometimes it's one person coming through and sometimes it's a van of like 10. <laughs> right. So you have no idea. I love yeah, that. Yeah, and just one tip to add uh, make mm -hmm. sure that all the kids in the vehicle go to the bathroom before you go <laughs> oh, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. You're going to have to get like porta potties out in the parking <laughs> lot. Single so. driver. That's got to be a little weird coming <laughs> to the house, you know? Yeah. But we see it. I mean, people really, I think people really are. It's seeking out a thrill. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. oh, yeah. there's a ton of fall activities to do, especially in this area. It's a gorgeous oh, yeah. area. Yeah. Finger Lakes is one of the best. Um, but Halloween activities, there's not as many. And, and some of the really good ones really permanently stop when oh, yeah. COVID mm -hmm. hit us. So. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, that is funny. Bobby, you go to Geneva but. High School? Uh, I went to Penyon, actually. So oh, Penyon. Okay. I grew up part of my life in Geneva, then we moved to Penyon. 
Now I live in Canada. And what year did you graduate? Uh, 2002. 2002. Okay. Love that. Um, so you mentioned, I want to I wanna touch base on some fun topics now. You but, mentioned that you are not much of a Halloween no. fan. <laughs> so what is your favorite, if you had to rank your top three holidays? If everybody rank them. Oh, three. the holidays? So, yeah. Oh, religious. yeah. Um, well, Christmas is number one. I'm 100% okay. a Christmas no person, Hallmark movies. Yeah, that's my thing. Okay. For sure. Um, I don't even know. Thanksgiving probably goes second. Yeah, that's a good one. All the food. Um, I think I'd say my favorite is July 4th. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Some people think it's a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's summer. summer. I'll put yep. July 4th on my, that's my like, third. Okay. Yeah, that's that's your top. Okay, <laughs> what, top. Are, what are your other two? Christmas would probably be second, mm -hmm. and I think after doing this event for a few years, Halloween has crept up. Oh, it is. it is. It is. It is really, really fun. I mean, I love from that. not loving Halloween, because I watched so many horror movies when I was younger, I think it just scared me to death. Yeah, I hate I'm like, I'm going to stay away from it. But yeah, this experience has really brought some love back for the Halloween. Some Halloween cheer. How yes. about you guys' favorite ones? Oh, Mine, no. I know my list already. Okay, um, well, Halloween is up there for me, thanks mm -hmm. to my mom. And I don't think it's like actually Halloween, but it's like the fall and the yeah. Halloween yeah. like um, mm -hmm. ideas of the Hold stuff. Hold on a second. Top three holidays. I'm trying. You can't take <laughs> you a whole know, season. It's so <laughs> I, I can take a whole mm -hmm. season if I want, because I can do what I want. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Thanksgiving's got to be second because I love my food, yeah. and then oh, see, I can't do this. I'm a Libra. Do you understand that we can't make decisions? Christmas will be third, even though I kind of want it to be 4th of July if you said that because of right. the summer one, but I'm going to leave it. I have no idea what your oh, favorite well, holiday good. list is. Keep them guessing, I guess. <laughs> What's yours? Um, so definitely Christmas, the first one. Thanksgiving is second, and then St. Patrick's Day is oh, my favorite. Oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah, love me some St. Patrick's Day. Day. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't do that. All right, Jim. <laughs> um, Christmas, number one. Um, although, man, it's, it's gets stressful lately, you know, as an adult, uh, you know, as a kid, obviously. You can make it not stressful. Number one. Mm -hmm. well, I Start don't know. shopping now. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not the shop, even the shopping, but no, Christmas is number one, <laughs> Thanksgiving's number two, and then, um, geez. Hmm. I kind of like Memorial Day, actually. Oh, okay. It's the first, uh, the, you know, one. spring breaks and um, the weather's hopefully good and you're doing your first outside picnic or barbecue yeah. or whatever. Seasonal depression. Pl three days gone. ago, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, Monday. I'm really, I'm changing my mind. And St. Patrick's Day? Day has to be there. Flag Day, that's a nice murder. Arbor oh, Day? Yeah. <laughs> um, St. Patrick's Day has to be in there for me. I guess I like holidays. I yeah, guess we same. can just say I like holidays. What would, and you both, you said you have children of your own that you take to the haunted car wash and stuff, but mm -hmm. do they, are they like really big into Halloween? They like to get dressed up and. My daughter does 100%. My son, I think, is. Eh, about it like yeah. he loves like I think he loves it just because his sister loves it mm -hmm. oh, yeah. so yeah. they're um, seven and eight. Oh, and so, okay. yeah oh, wow. yeah Brooke is older so yeah she's all about dressing up do her. they know what are they gonna being? go with this year it, oh, it's a great question oh my goodness <laughs> they have changed their mind a bunch of times sure. and of course. we literally just had that conversation yesterday because I'm like we need to decide now because yeah. we need to order and get it going so um, Easton is going to be Josh Allen oh okay oh, oh, I right? love it. Yep. Um, and he was going to be Harry Potter I was so excited he was going to be Harry Potter and she was going to be Hermione and oh, I just love yeah. that because I love that whole series Me but too. We changed it up, and Brooke is going to be Addison from the Zombies 3 movie. I've heard. Okay. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. Now. Liam's been Josh Allen for three years now. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't, I'm always like, what do you want to be for home? And like, eh. So he'll like put on his jersey. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you don't want to have fun anymore, but yeah, it's okay. Keeps it simple, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, right? yeah, he does. What about you? Uh, my three year old is going to be, is it Mirabelle from Encanto? Oh, okay. And she's I never putting wanted. that costume on every day, preparing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then my six year old daughter, she's keeping it simple uh, with a bunny outfit. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Yeah. Did you ever have a favorite Halloween costume, Jim? Um, nah. I, I did. I had a Pittsburgh Steeler uh, jersey, Frank O'Harris maybe. Wow. I, don't I won the Seneca Falls. Remember when they did the Halloween contest? Yeah. Downtown, I was a strawberry and I won. Wow. Oh. My mom dressed me up as a McDonald's milkshake before, oh like with the straw and everything, and I really loved that. I think my sister was a Big Mac, which like it was, you know. See, that's awesome. I love yeah. when they're like together costumes. Or one, yeah, my mom did weird ones. That, like one time she made Britney a phone, like the, but those bulky like black phones With and you cord could, no cord like the 
ones that was like kind of like a like cell phone. Like the old thing. school cell phone. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you could press the buttons, and I thought that was really oh, cool. Wow. Yeah, they got really into it. Yeah, yeah, we awesome. yeah, we still get into it. We're having yeah. a Halloween party, and uh, I don't get into it as much. I do some more little fun, dumb ones, but I need to get back 19 into it. Nineteen days still yes. Halloween. Nineteen yeah. days. Eighteen shopping days. Eight. Eight, well, <laughs> Prime Day. It's Prime Day today, as you know, early it Prime is. Day, so that means like Christmas, heart is is, full. Mm -hmm. Christmas is on the way. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, this is what we're doing. We're doing a haunted auto wash, car wash in Canada. When she said, told us what <laughs> the topic was, I said, that's amazing. And that's yeah. like, he was like, a, car, a haunted car wash. I was like, yeah, is that so, so fun? fun? It really, really is. And then you guys I mean, showed up in full mask, and when I went to yeah. get them in the hallway, I was like, whoa. Right. <laughs> was like, Two what? characters that you'll see out of, like, 25 to 30 we have a lot of employees and again we couldn't do it without our entire company staff so like people everyone. come from the other locations yes. to participate it's all yeah we're deck. even shutting down other locations early a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah so make this go so it goes from seven to ten yep. ten uh ten dollars it is to have the full experience it's in canadagua on route 332 and i assume you'll be posting mm -hmm. on your social media accounts like videos the from the event and stuff yes. so yep. if you can't make it out and you just want to are interested in seeing yeah, it was out. great. It was awesome to have you guys, though. Well, I hope yeah, you enjoyed you. it. Yeah. It was fun. Um, do you have anything that you're doing this weekend that isn't Halloween related? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to take the kids to Wickham Farms. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. We just did a yeah. feature on Wickham Farms it's on Finger Lakes Farms. It's crazy huge this now. Week. I just yeah. drove by it. all great. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Wickham and, I don't know, Long Acre, right? Oh, yeah. That's the one on 5 Power and 20 place. heading towards Canandaigua from here. Pick, pick and Patch. Pick, pick and Patch, Pick and Patch. That's the one that just added a million things. Yeah, we just went. I just took my kids there. Two weeks ago. Was it chaos? It was. It, it was busy, but it was good. I drove by on Monday, which was a you know a holiday, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was. The insane. donuts are amazing. Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. Aren't they home? Nothing else yeah. go for the donuts. Yeah. 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 Are you doing anything fun, exciting? Probably a farm or maybe a hike. Now I want to go. Hmm. To, now I want to go to one of the farms. I don't know what am I doing. What do we know? I guess. I think you have a weekend off. I might <laughs> have a weekend. Oh, I'm supposed to do a few wineries um, on Saturday. Which lake? Uh, I don't know. I haven't got that far yet to figure it out. But then I have football, which, you know, yeah. I'm a crazy football mom right now. So, yeah, what are you doing? I'm going to Atlantic City. Oh, okay. Yeah, she gets fine. to do Yeah, yeah we're going fine. to celebrate my papa's birthday. He wanted mm -hmm. to go to Vegas, but we couldn't swing it. So, we got a big house and my whole family's going. So oh, all the cousins, it's going to be a blast. Yeah, I just yeah, did I a trip with my family this past weekend. Like my mom and my brother yeah. and sister went to Salem. Oh. Yeah, then we went to Gloucester Okay, in Massachusetts. So. You, are a, you are a Halloween girl whether you like it or <laughs> I know, not. right? I, I like love holidays. Good Massachusetts this time of year. We yeah. went yeah. last year, right about this time, I think, maybe in a couple more weeks in October to Pittsfield. In Lee and Lennox. Oh, yeah. Um, it's just kind of so big. It was a pretty drive. Bir I mean, the foliage Bir started. Yeah, the Berkshires yeah. are nice. What are you doing, Jim? Um, Saturday, Syracuse plays NC State. Oh, yeah. In the Dome. We were trying to get tickets. Oh, uh, there's tickets available. I know, but yeah. I didn't know if I wanted to pay. It was $300 for the four of us in the seats we were looking at, and we were like, oh. Yeah, well, if you, there's seats in between the 40s, top of the third deck, which are really good seats to watch a football game, yeah. that, uh, but they are like 60 70 bucks each. Yeah, we might still go. Who knows? Uh, but, yeah, I'm trying to convince my daughter to go because she's a senior or a junior in high school, uh, and I went to Syracuse, and we oh. have a friend of ours who is currently a student at Syracuse who's having a pregame party on Euclid, oh, so I'm like, that's awesome. yeah. bring Jackie there, yeah, that would be show fun. her, like, um, cause, the so, experience. That's yeah. so fun. Yeah, no, I'm a big Syracuse basketball fan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Me, me too. Yeah. yeah, and we used to go religiously to yeah. these football games, and we just really haven't because, you know, life gets crazy and busy, but that sounds fun. Yep, mm -hmm. and then other than that, what else? Golf. <laughs> it's going to be cold, but yeah, Sunday morning I'll be golfing. No surprise um, there. But the weather is turning a little bit, unfortunately, yes. it looks like. Yeah. I um, saw what, I saw possible snow in the forecast no, next week, and I no, wanted to cry. No. Talk yeah. about depression, sorry. But yeah, yeah, that's that, and really, that's really all the time we have. Yeah. Thank you again for coming on. Well, it's October 21st in. and 22nd Correct. at yes. in Canandaigua, Route 332 for the Haunted Car Wash. And thank you for everybody that joined us today. If you like the show, you can click like, you can share with our friends, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be back again next weekend, next Wednesday. And until then, have a great weekend here in the Finger Lakes. Cool. <laughs>